So how concentrations of the electrolyte affect the selective discharge? Uh, if the concentration of a particular ion is high, it will be selected to be discharged, even though it is higher in the electrochemical series compares with another ion present in the solutions. So you see, uh, if the concentrations of the solution is high dense, uh, the ion which is high concentration will be selected to be discharged. For example, uh, if uh, there are hydroxide, hydroxide and uh, chloride okay chloride at the a node okay let's say this is a node eh? okay so this is a node so a node is positive eh? so at a nodes one of the ion will be selected to be discharged right okay now hydroxide is lower in electrochemical series eh? okay so suppose the hydroxide is selected to be discharged okay now the hydroxide come from water eh? water H2O, okay, decompose to form hydrogens and uh, hydroxide ion, eh? okay, and the concentrations of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion, the concentration is uh, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 mole per decimeter cube, eh? okay, so this is the concentration, it uh, means it's very low, okay, 0 0.0000001 mole per decimeter cube. Okay, so this is the concentrations of hydroxide. Eh? If the concentrations of uh, chloride is about one mole per decimeter cube, okay, so means that the concentration is uh, much much higher. Uh, concentrations of chloride is much much higher than the concentrations of hydroxide, right? Which is a uh, zero point zero 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 one mole per decimeter cube. Okay, so if this is the case. Eh? chloride will be selected to be discharged instead of hydroxide okay even though hydroxide is lower in electrochemical series eh? uh, that is how concentrations of a solutions affect the selective discharge eh? okay but there are certain limitations i will discuss with you the limitations later uh, sometimes even though the concentration is very high still is not uh, to be selected okay now let's see this example. Eh? Okay, this is uh, electrolysis of hydrochloric acid, and then we have two electrodes here, both are carbon electrodes. Okay, then so we this, there's a battery here supplies the electricity, and then there's a galvanometer shows the directions of the current. Uh, the very first thing that I want you to tell me is uh, what are the ions that present around a node. A node is the positive electrode. Eh? Hydroxide and chloride. Okay. Okay, we have chloride and we have hydroxide. Eh? Okay, chloride and hydroxide. Okay. Then how about uh cathode? How about cathode? The negative electrodes. What are the ions that are present? Hydrogen ion, that's correct. Okay, hydrogen ion. Eh? Okay, hydrogen ions, hydrogen ions. Okay. That is because uh, hydrochloric acid HCl, eh, okay, when it's uh, ionized, it become a hydrogen ion and chloride ion, eh, and the water will also decompose to form hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Eh. So chloride and hydroxide are negative ions, so they will go to the positive electrode, and a uh, hydrogen ion will go to the negative electrodes. Okay, if this is a dilute hydrochloric acid. Now at cathode, there's no problem because there's just one, one type of ions only, yeah? okay? So no selective discharge. So the hydrogen ion will be discharged, okay? This one, no problems. Yeah? The problem is here, okay? If this is dilute hydrochloric acid, yeah? which one will be selected? Hydroxide, that's correct. Uh, because uh, hydroxide is lower in electrochemical series, yeah? okay? The chemicals, electrochemical series, uh, the highest is the fluoride, okay? And then uh, sulfate nitrate, chloride, uh, bromide, iodide, and hydroxide. Okay, so chloride is here, hydroxide is here. So hydroxide is lower, so hydroxide will be selected to be discharged. Okay, this is uh, for dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay, so this is a result of the experiment. Uh, for electrolysis of dilute or diluted so hydrochloric acids, the ion that presents the anode, okay, just now you already uh, told me that, okay, the ion is uh, chloride ion, 
hydroxide ions, right? Okay, a cathode is a hydrogen ion. Huh? Hydrogen ions, okay. Hydroxide ions will be selected to be discharged at anodes, and a hydrogen ion will be discharged at cathodes. Huh? So let's write the half equations. Okay, this uh, hydroxide is uh, discharged. Tell me what are the products when uh, hydroxide is discharged? Yes, what are the products formed when hydroxide is discharged? Uh, oxygens and water and uh, electron. That's correct. Okay, so it will form oxygen and water and uh, electrons. Okay, and electrons. And to balance the equations, we need to have two water and uh, four hydroxide and four electrons. Eh? Okay, four electrons. Okay, so this is the half equations at um a notes okay for cathodes there's no problem okay this one just very easy because a uh, hydrogen ion is discharged okay this is before it discharge uh, before discharge and after discharge it will form hydrogen gas uh, hydrogen gas okay we have two hydrogen ion uh, okay and plus two electrons uh. okay so this is the uh half equations okay this is the half equations what about the observations a nodes, uh, A nodes, uh, oxygen is present, okay? Oxygen is present. And uh, oxygen is colorless gas, right? Okay, colorless gas. Uh. So you will see colorless gas release. And then uh, you need to suggest a test for this uh, colorless gas, uh, oxygen. So how do you test the presence of oxygen gas? Glowing wooden splinter? Yes, okay. So you have a glowing wooden splinter. Okay, glowing, uh, okay. It's a glowing wooden splinter and uh, when you insert this uh, glowing wooden splinter into the test tube that contain oxygen gas it will uh, ignite the glowing wooden splinter okay okay it will light up the glowing wooden splinter okay that's correct then how about uh, a test for the presence of hydrogens hydrogen gas any idea how do you test the presence of hydrogen gas burning wooden splinter okay burning wooden splinter okay uh that's correct so for a node uh, so the observation is a colorless gas is bubble off okay and the gas can rekindle a glowing glowing wooden splinter that brought close to it okay and a cathode hydrogen gas is a colorless gas and the gas give a pop sound when a lighted wooden splinter is brought close to it so remember to test the presence of oxygens we use glowing wooden splinter and to test the presence of hydrogen gas we use a lighted wooden splinter okay lighted wooden splinter or burning wooden splinter so make sure that you remember this uh, usually student has no problems in uh, selecting the ions uh, but sometimes they don't know how to write the half equations for hydroxide and, uh, but, and then they have a problems uh, in uh, writing the observations Okay, usually students will have problems in writing observations. Eh? Okay, so that is for dilute hydrochloric acid. Eh? Okay, now let's see. Electrolysis of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Eh? Concentrated means that the, uh, the concentration is very high. And uh, the ion the presence uh, are still the same. Okay, uh, they're still the same. Uh, still chloride and hydroxide around A node and uh, hydrogen ions around cathode because this one is still the same electrolyte the ions are still the same okay but these times if you observe carefully you will find that at a node a greenish yellow gas with pungent smell is released okay and the gas turns a moist blue litmus paper red and then white means it bleach the litmus turn the limits become colorless but the paper is still white okay uh so this is chlorine gas huh? this is chlorine gas this is chlorine gas okay and, and cathode is still the same okay cathode is still the same still hydrogen gas huh? okay so from this experiments we learn that if we use concentrated hydrochloric acid chloride ion will be discharged instead of hydroxide ions eh? even though hydroxide ion is lower but they will still select 
chloride ion because the concentrations of chloride ions uh, is higher compared to hydroxide. Okay, so uh, for A note, the half equations will be uh, chloride uh, to become chlorine. Okay, now sometimes students they will have problems eh, in uh, in placing chloride and chlorine. They, they, they don't know where to put chlorine and where, where to put chloride. Okay. So to write the half equations, uh, you must know uh, what are the uh, substance before the discharge. Okay, before the discharge is chloride. Okay, and after the discharge is chlorine. So they've, therefore, the chloride must be uh, on the left hand side and the chlorine at the right hand side. Okay, so make sure that you know uh, before discharge and after discharge the the substance before discharge and after discharge. Okay. To balance these equations, uh, we need to have two chloride, right? Okay, because we have two chlorine atom. Eh? Okay, and then uh, for half equations, we need to put electrons. Okay, electron. Eh? To put the electrons, um, we need to balance the charge. The charge on the left hand side, two chloride. Eh? The charge is negative two because each one is negative one. Eh? So the charge is negative two, and right hand side, uh, chlorine is neutral, so the charge is zero. Uh, so therefore, how many electrons we need to add to the right hand side to make the charge balance? Two. Okay, that's correct. We need to have two electrons so that the charge is negative two. Okay, now above side, negative two. Uh, so the charge is already balanced. Okay, so that, that's how we put the electrons into the equation. So we balance the charge. Okay, so this is the half equation. And uh, for cathode, it's still the same. Okay, uh, hydrogen. Before the re, uh, discharge uh, is, is hydrogen. Uh, after the reaction, it becomes hydrogen gas, uh, H2, and then uh, two hydrogen ions react with two, receive two electrons uh, to form hydrogen gas. There's a difference between uh, electrolysis of dilute hydrochloric acid and electrolysis of concentrated hydrochloric acid. So, for concentrated, even though the ion is higher in electrochemical series, still it will be selected to be discharged. Okay, notes. Uh. Now just now, if you see, remember, I told you that there are some limitations. Uh. There are some limitations. In our syllabus, you just memorize this, okay? If the concentrations of this ion is higher, okay, the concentration is higher. Uh, if lead, for lead, thin ions, uh, okay? So if there are, uh, the concentration is very high, then they will be selected to be discharged eh? okay, if the concentration is high. But if uh, there is uh, sodium ions, potassium and calcium, usually they will give you sodium, eh? okay, sodium, or sometimes they give you potassium. Eh? Now for potassium and sodium and even calcium, even though their concentration is high, still they will not to be selected to be discharged. So for example, eh? you have uh, sodium, sodium uh, 1.0 mole per decimeter cube, and hydrogens. Okay, uh, as I told you just now, hydrogens the concentration is uh, 0 0.0000001 mole per decimeter cube. Okay, if uh, there are sodium and hydrogens, uh, even though this one is much much concentrated compared to hydrogens, uh, but still. Hydrogen ion will be selected, not sodium, eh? because sodium is too high in the electrochemical series. Okay, this is too high in the electrochemical series. So even though the concentration is high, still it will not uh, be selected. Uh, usually they won't give you something in the middle here. Okay? They won't give you this. Either they will give you potassium sodium or they will give you iron, tin or lead. Uh, usually they give you iron. Okay, they seldom give you tin or lead. Uh, lead sometimes eh? they will, uh, will be given. You see, yeah, you need to. Uh, remember this or memorize this. Eh? So even those, uh, just now I say the one which is more concentrated will be selected, but there is some limit. Only those ion which is very close to hydrogen's ion eh, will be selected if the concentration is high. Those very far, very far from hydrogen, so even though they are more concentrated, they will not be selected to be discharged. Okay, and uh, this is also true for this electrochemical series of the negative ions. Eh? Okay, if chloride, bromide, iodide, if there are uh, more concentrated, they will be selected to be discharged. But if there are fluoride, sulfate, and nitrate, 
even though the, their concentration is high, they will not be selected to be discharged. So I, I hoped you can remember this. Eh? So not necessary, not 100%, okay? If the concentration is high, they will be selected to be discharged. It depends on how far the ions from hydroxide or hydrogen. Eh? If, if it's very far, then it will not select it. Okay, that's something that you need to know.